What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today we are learning how to send a project from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve and vice versa. I know there's a lot of people that are transitioning to DaVinci Resolve that are either editing it in Premiere Pro and are wanting to dip their foot in coloring in DaVinci Resolve, or you could be an editor that's still using Premiere Pro and you wanna test out DaVinci Resolve and you wanna use your old project to compare it in DaVinci Resolve and see which one you like. That's what I'm gonna teach you today. Let's load up Premiere Pro before we load up DaVinci Resolve and get going. So let's say this is the movie that I've worked on and I've got it all cut up, ready to go. Uh, I just need to color grade it and send it over to DaVinci Resolve. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple things. First, we're gonna make sure we have no effects, no uh, adjustment layers, no transitions on this. You know, you don't want anything on this. You want this to be basically a rough cut that's locked and good to go before it's going off to color. So as long as you're good with that, you're not really gonna run into any problems. If you have any problems with that, it's probably because you have some of those effects still on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to file we are going to come down to export and we're going to go to final cut pro xml we're going to click on that so when it pops up to save this we are going to want to do a couple things we're going to rename this i'm going to name this ungraded so i know that this is the uncolored version i'm going to put it in the same folder that i have this i'm going to hit save it's going to export that project out. So we're gonna go from Premiere Pro and to DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna open it up. I'm going to make a new project. I'm just gonna go ahead and name this Rough Cut 1, and I'm gonna put Grade. So I know that this is the colored version. I'm gonna go ahead and create it. It is gonna make us a new project. Uh, and then there's a couple different ways you can import this. I personally find it easiest to go to the Edit tab right here. So we're gonna go to file, we are gonna go to import, and we are gonna do timeline. I am going to locate where the folder is, and it is this right here. I'm gonna hit open. It's gonna bring this up right here. Again, it's gonna ask me to go ahead and name this. I am again going to name graded because I think that is the easiest thing to remember when we're pulling it back over. We don't really need to change anything. I suggest leaving it just the same, uh, and then you just hit create. And you can see it's already brought all our stuff in just like that. We can zoom out and everything looks good. Uh, it may look like these are doubled up, but in Premiere Pro, the audio, it's splitting it into two tracks, uh, a left and a right. So you can kind of ignore that because again, we're just focusing on the color grade. So you can actually just go through and you can mute all these if you needed to. So you didn't have to really worry about them at all, or you could just mute your computer. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in the color tab. Again, this is not a coloring tutorial, uh, but you can go ham on it. Uh, I have some other tutorials on my page that you guys can look at, as well as there are some other creators that have done some really good coloring ones. Now, before we go any further, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, and that is Artlist. If you're like me, you're an editor. You edit a lot of videos, you need a lot of music to choose from, you need a whole bunch of different genres, you need sound effects, you need everything to make that video pop. Every time I hop on their website, I'm always finding a banger song. Whether I'm needing something that's instrumental, whether I'm needing some hip hop, some R&B, they have so much high quality music on there, it is so fast to download it, add it to my timeline, and get right back into my edit and never miss a beat. Aside from just music and sound effects, Artlist also has other plans that will give you everything you're looking for. So if you're just looking for music and sound effects, they've got you covered. If you're just looking for footage, they've also got you covered. Or if you're looking for everything bundled together at one great price, they've also got you covered. I'll have a link in the description below that'll give you two extra free months when you sign up for a yearly subscription. Thank you so much, Artlist, for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. So let's say this is your color grade and it's hopefully looking better than mine that was just done in a few seconds so we can actually see the difference between the clips. Looks absolutely terrible, but that's okay. We need to send this now back to Premiere Pro. So we're gonna go down here to the bottom where the rocket ship is and it is our deliver tab. We're gonna click on that and here's where we are gonna be exporting this video out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swipe over here until we find Premiere XML. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna keep our source name. Uh, you could change it if you want to, but source name should be fine. I'm going to make sure that it's going to where it needs. It's going to the SSD, Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve folder. That is correct. I'm gonna make sure the format is the same. You could change these if you wanted to. So if you wanted it to be a little bit smaller of a file, you could do that as well, but this should work just fine. Uh, I am gonna go down. I'm gonna hit add to render queue. Over here on the right, you have your render queue, 
and then you just hit render and it is going to render this video out super fast uh, if you have a fast computer if you don't it may take a little bit longer then what we can do is we can hop back into premiere pro and then here we can make a new folder which i recommend and we'll just title this graded I'm going to go inside that folder. I'm going to go to file and I am going to go to import. Go into the untitled file. I'm going to click that, import it. It's going to bring everything in right there. We can open up that timeline and we can see that everything is color graded and looks the exact same. If we hop between the two, other than the clips that are colored is not going to pull over because again, not everything that is done in Premiere is going to pull over into DaVinci Resolve or vice versa because they are two different NLEs, but you can see the cuts are the same. Uh, you know, the color is different. The music's the same. Everything's the same other than the specific things that are here in Premiere Pro, which is why I say at the beginning, make sure you don't have any effects, anything like that on there. So you don't have any weird issues. If you do, you're going to have some weird things and I recommend steering clear from that. So I'd get your cut done. Then I would send it over to DaVinci Resolve, color graded in there, send it back to Premiere Pro and you should be good from there. Well, there you go. I hope you learned something in DaVinci Resolve. That's it for me today. You're amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See you next time. Peace.